So don't never cross the bridge till you get to it. Stay with God's word and God will open up the way. Because he is the way. I'm not afraid. Because I solemnly rest upon his word. I'll be with you. I've rested solemnly upon that word. And because he promised it. If he promised it. He's able to keep what he's promised. I trust the future to him then. Lord God, I don't know what tomorrow holds, but I know you hold tomorrow. How did you, sister? You're a type of person that once believing, you believe. It's kind of hard for you to see it. You do a lot of worrying about things, cross bridges before you get to them, build castles that never come to pass, because that's your nature. But if you will believe me as God's prophet, you do, all right, the diabetes will leave you. And you can go home and be well. You believe that? Go ahead, and if you have believed, you can receive. God bless you in the name of the Lord. Now, the man, you know I don't know you and know nothing about you, but Jesus Christ knows you. He's known you since you were born. But I see you're suffering with a tremendous nervous condition. One of those types that hurts you, makes you think deep, and always planning things you never get to. That's why it never happens that way. Always, as we say, crossing bridges before you get to them. Taking other people's worries on yourself. All right. Come now. You want to eat your supper? Get that old ulcer away? I see you back away from the table. That's the reason I knew that you had ulcer. You're a nervous type of person. You're a deep thinker, always crossing bridges before you get to them. Taking other people's things to your heart and your big plans that never happen. That's what makes you have the... Uh, the condition, it's a peptic condition, caused a spasm in the stomach, right at the duodenum. See, it makes you belch your food up and get sour in your mouth and so forth like that. Now, if you believe with all your heart, go home and be well. Get well. Believe God. In Jesus' name, I lay my hands upon this, my brother, and ask for his healing. Amen. I'll go believe him. Don't now. Weary has no virtue to it at all. Now, it's, it's, it's skip weary and accept faith. Someone said, well, now, why if you go to be shot in the morning? Wouldn't you worry? I said, no, don't think so. Why? I said, worry couldn't do nothing but make me worse. Well, what good's it going to do to have faith? I said, it might deliver me. That's right. Amen. See? So worry has no virtue to it at all, but faith has all virtue. Believe. I don't know you. I've never seen you. If God will reveal what's your trouble, you believe me? You're nervous. That's what you won't pray for. Extremely nervous. Mental nervousness. You're one of those kinds that's always crossing bridges before you get to them. Building up things that never happen, yet you're a Christian believer. That's right. I don't know you. You believe he knows you? You believe he could tell me who you are? Would you believe? All right, Dorothy. You can have what you ask for. Your last name is Glasgow. Go on your road and be healed. If thou canst believe, all things are possible. Now, sir, we're strangers to one another. Do you believe me to be his servant, the Lord's servant? Between me and you comes the table. You back off from it. You've got stomach trouble. You believe that Jesus Christ will heal you? It's kind of a burning in your stomach, ulcerated like. It's a peptic ulcer. They say it lays at the pe pad of the stomach, the bottom part of the stomach. You're nervous, upset, worried all the time. You're a person of deep thinking. You're always crossing bridges before you get to it, planning things that never happen. That's your nature. In your stomach, you're healed. Go get yourself a supper and eat. Cause your faith is made you whole. Praise God. Let's say praise the Lord. Do you love him? He is here now. Sister, stop worrying about your boy back there. He's going to get all right. Little boy has run over. He's going to be all right. Father, back over the town. All right, let's have no fear now. He's going to be all right. You got a mental nervousness, that is deep thinking, crossing bridges before you get to them. Taking other things that don't happen the way you always think it does. It's a mental nervousness. This whole group, some or other bound with that. Move over to one side just a minute. Have faith in God and believe with all your heart. Nervousness. The only thing, sir, you think deep, you cross bridges before you get to them. Taking other things up on your heart and you're always planning something that never happens. It's only mentally. Nervous, it's a mental nervousness. That is right. You've been that way for years. But Jesus Christ is sure to take it off of you. It's a dark shadow follows you all the time. You're conscious of something near you like that at all times. 
Do you believe that God's going to take it from you now? Yes, sir. Satan, leave this man. Come out of him in the name of Jesus Christ. Go out of him. I adjure thee by the living God that you torment him no more. Raise up your hands, sir. You're free for the first time since you was a child. Oh, Lord. Go on your Lord. Have faith in God. Do you believe him right now? Over this audience, this seems like a milky haze is hanging here. I'm not a fanatic. I'm a Christian. I believe the Lord Jesus Christ. And right now, he's here to make every person well. Would you believe me as this prophet? Do you believe that I tell you the truth? I say this in the name of Jesus Christ. That now that my strength is moving and my vision is becoming one blur. In this audience right now, it looks like drops are moving over this audience at this time. But the Holy Spirit, he is here right now to heal every person. In the audience here, these are the wheelchairs, wherever you are, the blind man, whoever you are, the lady sitting there with a female trouble, it's finished. That man there with arthritis, get up on your feet, sir. God has made you whole. Stand up the whole group of you just at this time. Jesus Christ is here to heal you. Oh, Jesus, my master, my Lord and God, I pray for this audience of people. That's great, Lord. And we know that thou art here. 